Let's learn in this video how to create the CI and CD pipelines for an application that uses Go language. Here we'll be relying on Azure DevOps Starter that will generate the application source code and that will generate the CI and CD pipelines in Azure DevOps, where in this CI pipeline we'll go to build that Golang application in order to generate the packages. And from within the CD pipeline, we'll go to provision the infrastructure, mainly an Azure app service using ARM templates, and then we'll go to deploy our application into that app service. So let's see how that works. I start here from the Azure portal and from here I'll go to create a new resource and this resource is of type DevOps Starter. DevOps Starter, the idea here is that this will help us as a beginner starting on Azure and Azure DevOps to give us some sample typical CI CD pipelines for different uh, frameworks and different programming languages. So here we see templates for .NET, for Node.js, PHP, Python, static web apps, Java, Ruby, Go, C, and those support both systems Azure DevOps, but they also support GitHub Actions. In my demo today, I want to take a Go application. For that, I select Go application and then click Next to here, select, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start from a sample Go web app that will be provided by Azure itself. And then here for the hosting part, I have three options. Either I want to host my Go application into a web app into Azure, that's the, the app service plan, or I can also deploy it into a container and then later host that container into web app for containers. That's the service in Azure for running uh, single containers. And then I have a third option, which is using Kubernetes service, AKS and Azure. So with this template will help me for those three cases. Today, I want to take the simplest one. So I'll take the Windows web app and then I click next. Here I need to provide a project name. So this name is going to be the name of the project inside Azure DevOps itself. So I'll call that demo go on Azure. And then here I need to provide the name of my DevOps organization. Note that here, of course, I have my Azure DevOps uh, account. And all I need to do here is just to point to that account. So I will provide this one. And then I select the Azure subscription that I want to use. If you have many, you need to select one. And after that, you would configure or you would uh, provide the name for your web app that would end with the .azurewebsites.net. So I'll keep the same name as it's uh, because it's available here. And then the location, you would choose the location where to host your services. For me, I'll choose West Europe. And I have also some additional settings because uh, this template actually will create the web app, but it will also create the application insights. And it will also create the app service plan that will determine what is the hosting plan for my application. So for that here, I'll uh, specify, I can specify here the resource group name. I can customize that if I want to. And then here I have the pricing tier for the app service plan. So I'll choose the one of the cheapest ones. Let's choose this one, D1, share it. And then the location for the application insights instance will be also West Europe as my web app. Note here how we can uh, use or how we can create a new DevOps organization if you don't have one, one already. So click OK to verify those settings. And then all is done. So I click Done. And now Azure have verified my configurations and it will start now provisioning this project into my Azure, uh, into my Azure account and also to provision the necessary uh, projects into the Azure DevOps organization. And just a few seconds later, the project was created successfully. I can go to that resource and within my Azure subscription here, I'll be taken to this project for DevOps Starter. And here I have the information about the source code, where, where is that source code, where are my build pipelines and where is my release pipelines. And I have links for all of those uh, uh, for all of those components. So if I click on the code here, 
that will open a new window where I have here the source code that is now deployed into my Azure DevOps subscription. So I have two folders here, one for the application. This contains the source code for my sample Go application. So I have here the app.go. This one uh, contains uh, code written in Go. And then I have some other folders for uh, HTML files, CSS, and so on. And then I have my second folder, which will contain the ARM templates. So here, this ARM templates will be part as of uh, infrastructure as code. This one will go to create a web application, hosting plan, and an application insights. And here we have the uh, ARM templates or the definition for those resources. So where I have here Microsoft.web.sites, this one will create the app service. Uh, specifying the required parameters here, like the name of that app service, the location, and so on. And then later here, we'll go to configure the application settings to configure application insights. So we are taking the instrumentation key and uh, that have dependencies, of course, over the uh, application uh, insights and over the hosting plan. Those should be created first before the web app. And then here we have the definition for that app service plan. In addition to that, we have here the definition for the application insights. So this ARM template will create or will provision that infrastructure for us. And now I want to deploy this infrastructure using Azure DevOps CI and CD pipelines. For that here, actually Azure uh, DevOps will create or Azure DevOps starter will create those uh, those pipelines for me. So if here I go to click on this link, this will take me to where I have the build pipeline and that lives actually inside the same project where here I can go click on the CI pipeline and I can go to edit. And here I find that sample CI pipeline that will start first by getting the source code from the Azure DevOps uh, repo uh, git and then that will run the uh, Go application by first starting by installing Go. So here we are requiring the version 1.10 of Go. After that, we'll go to run Go get in order to restore the packages and then Go build in order to compile that Go application into an exit. After that, we'll go to archive this, uh, <clears throat> this application. Then we copy the ARM templates to make them available into an artifact folder to use them from within the CD pipeline. So now if I go to that CD pipeline, if I go to releases, from here I'll find the release that is already running right now. So if I go to this dev environment, I can see that here it's running an, on an agent. So it started downloading the artifacts and it's now trying to create that infrastructure using the ARM template that we have provided earlier, as you can see here. And then later that will go to stop the web app, deploy the app service, and then restart it again. We can take a look at that uh, existing uh, CD pipeline. If I go here to edit release, or actually edit the release pipeline, from here I can see that environment that contains four tasks. So first is deploying the ARM template. So here we are pointing to that ARM a template using the task Azure Resource Group deployment. And then we are overriding some parameters. Remember from the Azure portal, we specified the plan D1 shared for our app service plan. And we used the West Europe as a location to host my, uh, both my web application and my app service uh, and my uh, application insights. Then this task stop Azure app service. This will go to uh, stop the application until we deploy the new version of that, uh, uh, of that application, which is a zip file, and then we we'll go to restart the app. Coming back to the Azure portal, where here I have the link to that app service, and I have also a link for the uh, app service in Azure. And because this app service or those resources are created in my Azure subscription, I can go to resource groups and I find here, in addition to the resource group for the Azure DevOps starter project, I have a second one that will contain both the app service plan, the app service and the application insights. If I go to my app service right here in the overview, I'll have here the link for that app service. I can click on that link, open it in a new window. And right from here, I should see my Go application running. And yes, here it is. It tells me successful deployment. The Azure DevOps project has been set up.
for your Golang application and it's now up and running. If you are looking for more videos about anything related to DevOps, infrastructure as code, cloud development, please go check out my YouTube channel where I post regularly videos about these different topics.